securing Centaur locks. 140. Launch enabled. 137. FTS armed. T minus 90 seconds. The launch vehicle, payload, ground systems, and the Eastern Ranger go for launch. 120. OCU is armed. FCS count started. 115. 110. 10 valves locked. 1 T minus one minute. T minus one minute. Forty seconds. Stable in step three. Twenty eight. Twenty five. Status check. Go Alice. Go Centaur. Go Sivers. T minus, T minus 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the third space based infrared system for the United States Air Force. And we start a closed loop control. On Atlas PU, the engine continues to operate normally. You are hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent data. 30 seconds into the mission, everything works good. The engine continues to operate at 100% thrust. The vehicle is flying right down the center of the range track. Normal control on the PU system. Good engine operating pressures. And we're seeing expected disturbances in flight control, but it's very close. Everything looks good. Coming up on Mach 1 in 10 seconds. And we're continuing to fly right down to another range track. Vehicle's now supersonic. Everything is looking good. We are 7.8 miles in altitude, 3.6 miles downrange, traveling at 1,700 miles per hour. And we've throttled down to 95% right on time. Look good. Engine continues to operate as expected. Passing through two minutes into the mission, everything looks good. And we are now 50% of our liftoff weight. seconds in, everything looks good. Engine continues to operate percent thrust as expected. And we fired the RCS power valve, pressurizing the reaction control system on the second stage. That booster continues to operate normally. Seeing good engine pressures. Continue to fly right down the center of the range track. 31 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange, traveling at 5,100 miles per hour.